Anyway, I'm going to take a whack at a finger roll tutorial. Uh, this might be the first actually correct one directed specifically at Glovers. Um, to know why that is, you have to know a little bit of the history behind it, which I'll go over very briefly, a uh, very abridged version. And basically, it's this move, the finger roll, has been around uh, far longer than gloving in the liquid and digits community. There's been a tutorial out for it since at least 2001, uh, to my knowledge, so it's been around longer than that. <clears throat> and, you know, the original Glovers, just like any of us, were noobs at some point, and some unknown amount of them uh, learned this as a finger roll, when uh, that is a finger wave variation, and that te teaching kind of prevailed, hopefully up until now. And we'll learn the finger roll now. And it's a very important foundation in digital liquid, which is kind of like the, the digits version of liquid. Kind of like finger tightening is a tightening, and then there's just digits, which is kind of neither, but you could apply it to both. That's something different in and of itself. And uh, to learn it, it's it's really it's a lot easier to learn one hand at a time because there's all the different vari variations, and then you can put the hands together in all the different ways that you kind of would with a wave, and then you get a lot of variations out of it. And there is the in the what I call the outward and the inward, and you can also do those in either direction, like the wave going one way or the other. So there's four different ways to do this, and there are four different basic ways to do this. And I'll start with the outwards one, where you're going to start with this finger arc, one finger at a time, to a closed fist, and then you're going to fold them out one at a time. So, arc down, and you fold out, arc down, you fold out, and you just kind of start doing it more and more continuously until you get to where, uh, when one of your hands end that circle, uh, say my when my index finger ends the circle my pinky begins it and vice versa So you have the index and the pinky on opposite sides of the circle and uh, You can reverse direction of the wave without uh, Changing the direction that your fingers are moving so you can keep the movement more continuous you just slow some down and speed some up so that others can get ahead of it and the main advice I have for that one is practicing it with a fixed point and yeah, so you have kind of like a, a visual reference and then you can branch it out into all your different variations which I'm gonna start teaching you uh, after I teach you the inwards one of course in the inwards one, you're just going to go the opposite direction. You're going to fold in your fingers like that, and then arc them out. And then you smooth out the rough edges. And you have that kind of index-led one, and then the pinky-led one. So they, they kind of look the same, that's just mainly... A, is it going that way or is it going that way? So you, you need to practice both the inwards and the outwards. Uh, thinking about your index leading it, which is going to go up, and your pinky leading it, which is going to make the wave go the other way. And then now you're going to practice them with your hands together this way. So you arc them all in, and then fold them all out. Arc them all in, fold them all out. Arc them all in. And then you have that uh, outwards finger outwards finger roll going that way, and you do the same whoops, for that. And this can be really hard for those who have uh, 
and gloving for a while because it took me a long time. It's hard, it was really hard in my experience because uh, I didn't really get this too early on, so it was really ingrained in my muscle memory to not do it. But And then you have the inwards one. Fold in, whoops, fold in, arc out, fold in, arc out. And I really like how this one looks personally. Whoops. Kind of see it from an angle there. And again, remember to stay relaxed while you're doing it because this uses kind of the full range of motion of your fingers, or at least a lot of the range of motion for your fingers compared to a regular wave. <clears throat> and then, you know, practice them like that. Same way, you know, close them, fold them, or arc them, fold them, and then fold them, arc them, go in all the different directions. And then this one is uh, where you have your palms facing opposite directions. This one is definitely worth mentioning. Uh, specifically because if you want your fingers to go in a big helix like that you're going to have to have this one going outwards and then this one going inwards or vice versa and then you can also say have both of them going outwards but you still have the the whole like the wave as a whole is still all going one direction, so you kind of have it opposite, yet at the same time, uh, same. And you can also, uh, adding that extra dimension to it with the circular motion, you could fix where you have them connected, or uh, you can fix the two ends and move in a circle around that. And you can kind of have it breathe. Uh, there's a lot of things you could do with that. You can also with finger rolls with this goes for any position. You can uh, I'll show it this way so it's a lot easier to see. You can uh, show that full circle. You trace the full circle and extend it like that. You could have them on opposite sides of the circle if you want. You know, you can you can even go into flowers and stuff with it. But, uh... It's another thing you can do with it. And... You can also crawl. You can, uh, kind of hook, link it up to a hand wave. This would be like a... A rolling wave as I call it link it up with that and basically just go through all your different finger wave variations and add the roll to it and then see what kind of different variations you can get out of it say like that like that you know there's a whole lot you can do with it with that extra dimension added let me know how you like this tutorial or any suggestions you might have for future tutorials. Have a good day, guys.